the News Channel 5 Network. This is Titans Talk. Hey there, Titans Talk on your television. I am Steve Lehman. Thanks for being here with us tonight on News Channel 5 Plus. We're going to get to an exciting game yesterday down in South Florida. The Titans really laying the blueprint for how they want to play football. They were dominant in the trenches on both sides. The offensive line pushed the Dolphins around. The Titans rushed for 235 yards in the game. DeMarco Murray did 121 of that. And then defensively, completely dominant effort. Only 200 yards allowed in the entire game. 108 of that were on two plays. So for the rest of the game, Titans allowed 92 yards on 39 plays. They sacked Ryan Tannehill six times. They forced two interceptions. It was a dominant, dominant effort. They still allowed some of the big plays, which is troubling. But this was an effort that you love to see. And I think most importantly, as we look at where the Titans are going and the improvement they have or progress, which was the word that the guys kept talking about last week, even after the loss in Houston, I think the biggest thing you see here is the Titans have been a bad team for the last few years. Won just five games over the last two years combined. When they played other bad teams, winning didn't always happen and they certainly didn't go out and just take care of business the Dolphins are not a good team but yesterday because of that past they actually went in as a favorite on their home field against the Titans but you know what you saw you saw a Titans team go in there with a business-like effort and just dominate in the trenches on both sides of the football just physically outman the Dolphins and really cruised to a 30-17 to 17 win. That game was more lopsided than the score indicates. And they've got to clean that up. They've got to take care of some of those big plays to make sure that they don't just allow people to hang around. Or if we've seen a couple times earlier this year, a couple big plays can cost you a football game. They definitely have to clean that up. But what you saw yesterday was a performance against an outman team where they looked outmanned. The Titans went out there and just did their job. And just doing their job and playing the way they wanted to play, focusing on the game plan, was dominant. It was a dominant performance. And that's good to see. And to me, that signals progress. When you're in the National Football League, it's difficult to win every week. It's difficult to win on the road. But if you're going to be a good team and have a shot to compete for playoff bursts or division titles or whatever you've got to be able to win the games that you should win you just have to go take care of business and yesterday was an opportunity where the titans played a bad football team and they just went and took care of business first month of the season i think the teams the titans played are pretty decent vikings are obviously the best team in football right now they were in that game, but probably not a game you expect the Titans to win. You go beat the Lions on the road. I think the Raiders could be a playoff team at the end of the year. Texans are currently leading your division. I don't think those are three bad losses. Maybe bad in the way they lost them, but I don't think they're bad losses. And yesterday, the Titans played a team that wasn't very good. Worst team they played all year, and they made the Dolphins look like the worst team they've played all year. That, to me, is encouraging about what they did. And now, here's the best part. Now the opportunity lays in front of you. The next three weeks, really the next 17 days, the Titans host the Browns, the winless Browns on Sunday, and then get back-to-back -back division games, still at home, Colts, and then a Thursday night game against the Jaguars. The next two and a half weeks, we're going to find out a lot about this Titans team because all three of those games are winnable. All three of those games are now at home. But the two biggest issues for the Titans for a long time now have been this. Not winning home games. They've won just two over the last two years, both against Jacksonville. 
and struggling to stack wins together. So here's an opportunity with three winnable games at home in a row for the Titans to become relevant again. If they can go in and win even two out of the three, gets you back to 500 at the midway point of the season. In the AFC South, that's going to make you a player. That's going to give you an opportunity to make a run in November and possibly into December. That's just two out of three. If you sweep all three, which is crazy as it is to say about a Titans team that won three games all of last season and five games combined the two previous years, if you sweep all three, which appears possible when you look at the schedule, I think the Titans very well could be in first place when November starts. When you look at the Texans' schedule and you consider that the Titans would be 5-3, and three, I think that's possible. So a huge win yesterday because it gets you on track. And before you can win two or three or string four wins together, you got to win one. And the Titans got one yesterday. Now the task is to try to stack those wins together and become a real contender. The week started last week with with a bit of uncertainty. Hurricane Matthew was out there. You didn't know if they were going to play the game in South Florida, whether it might have to be moved, postponed, whatever. But when they finally took the field yesterday, the Titans looked good. They looked focused. And let's go to the highlights from Sunday's game against the Dolphins. Titans offense got off to a good start. Marcus Mariota keeps it himself and walks in. Aloha. Makes it 7-0. 14-7. Dolphins will get a score to tie it, but Mariota hits Delaney Walker just before the half. A beautiful drive. Mariota 5-for-5 five five on the drive and puts Tennessee up 21-14. Third quarter, Rashard Matthews. Welcome back to Miami. He gets the touchdown against his old mates. That put the Titans up 30-17 to 17 after the point after was blocked. And then the pass rush really turned things up. Six sacks. In all, Brian Arakbo with back-to-back -back sacks there. Titans had a pair of interceptions as they shut this game down. 30-17, to your final score. Mariota, 20-29, three touchdown passes. He ran in for the score that you saw. DeMarco Murray, 121 yards rushing. The Titans put up 235 yards rushing as a team. That's the most yards they've rushed for since 2009. Just a completely dominant effort up front. And again, the defense does the job. Six sacks, two interceptions, and just 200 total yards allowed. Titans now 2-3 and three on the year. A game back of the Texans in the AFC South. And again, with a huge opportunity now the rest of this month with three consecutive games coming up against nice, at Nissan Stadium against teams that aren't overwhelming teams that they should be able to have a chance to beat each time out. We want to hear from you tonight. 737-7767 is the number. What were your thoughts on yesterday's game? That was the blueprint for how the Titans win. Do you see that blueprint being able to be carried over in this next stretch or throughout the rest of the season? How much more encouraged are you by the play yesterday? The way the defense battled, the way the running game came along, Marcus Mariota's bounce back effort after a couple of shaky performances against the Raiders and in Houston last weekend. What were your thoughts? 737-7767. And do you have a different outlook now based off of what you saw yesterday and what's in front of them? Three-game stretch here at home, opportunities to make a move, and then you look even into November. First game there is against a Chargers team that's 1-4. and four. It's a road game, but a 1-4 and four Chargers team that has been a hot mess early on in the year. Then you get Green Bay, which will be a difficult one. But then you go to Indianapolis and to Chicago, who's really stunk it up for the first month. This is a very manageable schedule for the Titans over the next seven weeks. An opportunity to put yourself in contention. Then you get the Broncos, then you get the Chiefs, and you wrap up against the division games at Jacksonville and home against the Texans, which 
if you project out their top two teams in the division right now could mean something coming up in the final week of the season. But w what do you think now? You, you've seen five games from this team. You saw an impressive win yesterday. Are you starting to drink some of the Kool-Aid and believe with what's out there they can, they can truly make a run in this thing? Or do you say, hold on, hold on. This is just one win by a Titans team that hasn't won back-to-back -back games since the end of the 2013 season. That is completely fair. We all have a tendency to overreact by what we've most recently seen. And yesterday was a tremendous performance by the Titans. I think it should encourage all of us, based off of how they started the year and the fact that they talked about, hey, we're close, we're getting there, we're close to having the performances that we want and that we need, and then yesterday they deliver that game. They do what they need to do on the road to get another road victory against a team that they should be. But... That's been the problem for the Titans is stringing those performances together. And frankly, until they do it, it's probably wise to take a wait and see approach on the hype train. But as you look at it, if they play the way they played yesterday, there's no reason to believe they can't pick up a couple, if not three wins in this homestand. And be competitive in the month of November against those teams as well. And if you do that, all of a sudden you're playing for some really, really important things in the month of December. And wouldn't that be fun? Because it has been a long time since the Titans were just simply relevant when it came time for the playoff push or the division title race. It'd be fun to have that back around here. Again, the number is 737-7767. We're going to take our first break. When we come back, we get to your calls. If you're on the line, hang with us. If you want to get in on the line, give us a call. We want to hear from you tonight. After the Titans beat the Dolphins 30-17 to in Miami. Back with more Titans talk right after this.